After some crazy weather in Nashville, our plans have changed for this weekend. Quite a bit. Um, we were supposed to go visit our friends in Pennsylvania, but our flight got canceled and there was no way to rebook. So we drove four and a half hours east to Asheville, which is where we are now. And our first stop is the North Carolina Arboretum. And um, right off the bat, it is so gorgeous here. We can't wait to um, show you around. This behind me is a quilt garden that right now looks like squares on the ground, but it is actually a quilt garden in the summer time, whenever, spring. or spring, when everything grows. And it's supposed to look really pretty, um, but right now it just looks like concrete squares with the uh, ground. There's many things to explore around here, so we're gonna continue walking and uh, exploring this beautiful garden. they have which they have a bonsai exhibit going on right now and it is so beautiful I love bonsai I think they're so neat um, but they don't allow dogs inside so we had to go in separately but now we're both out and we are on the nature trail that just kind of goes around the arboretum um, and it'll take us to the other side So while we're walking, um, just gonna shoot a little information on this uh, location. So it is $20 to get in, depending on the vehicle size, it could be more. And if you have an RV or if you're camping, it could also be more per night or for the day. But once you pay, you can go in and out however many times you want with the same receipt for that day, which is cool if you wanna go venture out and then come back or whatever. I don't know who's that, who does that, but um, if you do, if you're one of those people, you can do that. Uh, and also, uh, you are allowed to bring your dog, um, so that's a plus if you're traveling with a pup, like us. And um, the only place you can't take him is in the greenhouse, which there is a whole lot more to do around here but we have a uh, limited time but it's mainly just like hiking trails around here um we've done like the main like gardens and such um and we're doing the main 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 hiking trail called the nature garden trail but there are a lot of different trails if you want to do um, a different one. Arboretum and headed to our hotel to drop our things off and drop Bali off and now we are in downtown Asheville and just got some lovely coffee. Really good coffee. Um, we found this double-decker bus that they converted into a coffee shop and the top floor used to be a place where you could sit but it looked like due to um, wear and tear on the bus they uh they closed that area off and now it's just there for employees to go up there and do work i guess but the coffee is very good and it was such a cute place and now we are at the mass general store which is a store that's been around since 1883 let's show you around So at the store, you can pretty much find anything you can possibly want. Uh, you have books, clothes, and I believe you also have some grocery items. Maybe I'm wrong, but you do have 
uh, jelly over there and you can get chocolates and you can get a couple of other things food wise but mostly clothes and books so after going to that store uh, we actually bought some shoes and um, we were going to go to the Museum of Art here in Nashville, but unfortunately it's closed. So our next best option is the Chocolate Lounge, which we can create our own chocolate, I think, or it has a lot of, and they have a lot of chocolates in there that we can taste and all that stuff. So let's get in there and uh, let's taste some chocolate. SMW building, which um, that building is basically home to a couple of different restaurants. We got the Thai food that they have in there. I got a bao bun and Paulo got the Thai fried rice. Um, and that building is actually part of the National Registry of Historic Buildings um, because it was built in the 1920s as an example of Art Deco. We're gonna head back to the hotel for the night and we'll see y'all in the morning for some hiking. Well, we have been trying to get on the Blue Ridge Parkway all morning, which is really for the last hour and a half. Um, but all the entrances, all the entrances we've tried have been closed. So we're trying to get on there. Hopefully we're able to do some of the hikes I have planned today. Um, but it looks like we're not going to Mount Mitchell, which was gonna be our first stop. Um, so our new game plan is to try to go to Crabtree Falls. And if we can't get there, then we will reevaluate again. Um, but we are currently going out of the way to try to get back on it because of the road closures, which Blue Ridge Parkway is supposed to be open all year round, but they do close parts of the road uh, due to weather. So we're not really sure there hasn't been bad weather in the last day or two. So not quite sure why it's closed, but we'll keep you updated and hopefully we can get on soon. We have finally made it on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We found a part that was open, it was ungated. So we are heading to our first destination, which is Crabtree Falls. It's about a two and a half or 2.6 mile hike um, to the waterfall and back. So, <laughs> so we will take you along. We have made it to Crabtree Falls and it is absolutely stunning here. We're gonna um, take some pictures around here and then head back up to the car so we can go to more adventures. delicious lunch at Subway. We uh, made a uh, about a 45 minute drive out to... We are at Table Rock Mountain right now on the Hawksbill um, Trail, which is either 1.7 miles or 2.6, depending on which one you do. Not quite sure which one we're on, but we'll find out soon. We 
I made it to the top of this mountain and it was a pretty steep hike, hike up, but this is completely worth the hike up here. And uh, I'm pretty much standing on rocks right now. Like I can see almost 360 um, and it's great. We're gonna go to this ledge over here and then uh, enjoy a couple minutes here and then head back down and on to our next adventure. We are heading back down the trail. It was stunning views all over the top. We spent a lot of time there and it was well worth it. Um, we're heading back down and we are gonna do the seven or eight miles on the bumpy gravel road back to town. made it to the Lynn Cove Viaduct, which is right behind us. This is the oh, iconic <laughs> spot here on Blue Ridge Parkway, and I'm so happy we finally made it here. I've been wanting to capture this for many years. Um, you do have to park at the overlook that is right before it. It's maybe like a 0.1 mile hike over here, and you can see where everyone takes pictures because those um, areas are very well trafficked. Example, back there. We just got some pictures and spent a lot of time taking in these views. And now we are going to head back to the car and go over to Grandfather Mountain, which is where the mile high swinging bridges. And that should be awesome. So according to this ground marking on this bridge right now, we are exactly one mile, which would be 5,280 feet up high in the air. It's not 5,280 feet from what's below, but it is from the rest of the area nearby. Um, and I guess that's the altitude. So, um, it is pretty windy, it can get windy, and the bridge does make noise, so don't get scared of that. There is a little bit of holes, but uh, also don't get scared of that. It is actually pretty enjoyable. I really love this. To the very highest peak, I think, that we can get to on this specific on this particular uh, mountain. Uh, there is a taller one, which is the twin. I think that's with the one that's called Grandfather. Uh, I think this one's called Grandmother? Possibly. Um, but if you can see it, it's actually back there. Um, and it's kind of windy and it is cold. Uh, luckily I have uh, a long shirt, and long sleeve shirt and this big little jacket, uh, which keeps you warm. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna enjoy a couple of uh, minutes here, um, enjoy the views, and then head back to across the bridge. Anyways, enjoy these beautiful views. <laughs> which is a beautiful lake in northeastern Tennessee. The road to where we thought we were going is sort of close, so it adds like half a mile to a mile more to our trail, but basically we're going to a scenic overlook of this beautiful lake, and I can't wait to show you So we went on 
the Overlook Trail, which is pretty short. And I usually am pretty good with planning, but sometimes my plans don't really work out accordingly. And this was one of them. The Overlook um, basically was very wooded. There is no actual Overlook, so it was very odd. So we're gonna head down there and see what it looks like from the lake. that we are finished walking around. Paulo did get some drone shots, but it is time for us to head back to Nashville. I have to work tomorrow and, you know, there's stuff to do get at home. back to <laughs> daily life. So we are about to get in the car and make the four and a half to five hour drive back to Nashville. It's been an amazing three days. I can't believe we've done so much in the last three days. Yeah, it's crazy how much we've done. <laughs> it really is. Um, but it was a fantastic trip. Um, hopefully we get to come back to North Carolina at some point in uh, the next little bit. But for now, uh, we will see you in the next video and don't forget to keep adventuring.